And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Tapping in TNN Trapping Network, and we back in action with another reaction video. Back in this thing, back in this thing, like cook, crack in this thing, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content. We got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. News you use, now that you can't get in college, big dog, you already know the deal, man. You already know the deal. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, become a part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all, stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest. What we have going on here at <coughs> my rock impression choked me up a little bit, goodness gracious, but I got some good. The cup ain't dirty, y'all. I thought it was. I rubbed it for a second, but then I forgot it was a sticker on it. My kid made this for me, so it was actually a mug that my kid made, and it was a sticker along the side, man. So that's actually what that is. It's not dirty, y'all. It's not dirty. I promise you I wouldn't drink water from a dirty cup. But my kid made it for me, and even though the sticker ain't on it no more, I'm going to still keep it because my kid made it for me. And it means something to me. It's sentimental, so you can make as many jokes about it as you want. I don't. Can, it's not going to bother me. My kid made this for me. And if you don't have your kids around you to make things for you because you're a negligent father, this cup, of this cup of water is not for you, big dog. But if you're a real father, God bless you. God bless your kids. God bless your family. God bless your struggle. God bless your success. Either way, go, man. Hit that subscribe button. Become part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper Game 6. Rich Trapper Worth More Than Money. Rich Trapper I'm Better Off Without You. But my newest single, Something Gone, is out. You know what I'm saying? Something Gone. Go ahead and get into that if you ain't got into that. Make sure you get into these honey bourbon loose leaves, man. Shout out to Deso Dev. Shout out to honey bourbon loose leaves. Awful lot of loose leaves. Awful lot of honey bourbons. Awful lot of cough syrup. Loose leaves. Perfectly cut leaves for a perfect roll every single time. We also want to show love to our newest sponsor, Tasty Live Live Resin Disposables. My bad, y'all. My bad. Live Resin Disposables. Cannabis, der cannabis derived terpenes made from category three distillate. No pesticides or heavy metals. No Kiss, no Rock Bands, no Aerosmith. Make sure you get into these, man. You can see them at your local dispensary. The brand is Tasty. Live disposable resins, carts. Get into those, man. Full G in each one. Make sure you get into that if you ain't got into that. If you're trying to win some Chiliana, man, we giving away $150 to the top commenter. You got to make sure that you drop a comment because if we get to, to 10,000 subscribers between now and May the 14th, we're going to give away $150. If we get... Yeah, $150. Top comment between May the 14th. 10000 I got you. $150. Top comment. Best comment between now and the end of April will also receive a $50 cash app. So we got good chili we giving away, man. Let's jump into this Lush Adam 22 situation. Give the people my thought process. I've been thinking about making this move since you first came on and did that episode. I do feel like, despite some of the stuff that's occurred in the past, you know, when we were having that conversation and I was saying that I wasn't mad at you, that I didn't really, like, feel a sense of anger or betrayal or whatever like that that's true like i'm mm -hmm. over whatever shit we had in the past maybe we can get more into it as time goes by or whatever but like i have to admit that out of everybody i know i kind of feel like you are one of if not the best conversational sparring partner that i've really ran into throughout my years doing this and like i really especially we're, we're gonna That's have a bold statement well okay there, okay there might be like better but no, 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 like no, no, no. Better keep going. <laughs> what you mean no yeah i, I don't want to say like lush is a better conversational smart partner than academics or joe joe, joe sleepy joe button or whoever like there's definitely like other people but in terms of like people that have been a part of no jumper if you really go through it who have i had better real conversations about hip-hop with Lush was severely disrespected and humiliated by Adam 22. And for Adam 22 to gaslight and narcissist the situation, I know that's not the proper use of the term narcissist, but to narcissize the situation, that might not be the proper word either, but words are hard, don't worry about it. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Adam 22 literally smacked Lush. And it was like, you see what you made me do? Sorry. Let me explain to you how this is your fault. And then Lush believes it and now it's back being a willing participant of 304ism. That's wild. Venue. I don't know, church. 
Got nothing but love for Sharp, but you know, I I, I don't know that that's you know. Yeah, no, no, that's no, not no, necessarily no, what no, he no, came no. here to do. I, look, I get it. At the end of the day, you know, and um, obviously Sharp brought me on his pod. The whole fun- and we could talk about that. I've seen a couple clips of that. Yeah, yeah, and the whole way it happened was super funny too because it happened organically. Cause- so you were having that conversation the whole time, and he didn't know that you were already added to the Tuesday show. No, he. I'm pretty sure he knew already. Because well, I didn't tell him, but he, I don't know. Some oh, of like, my told him. I think. Well, it was it was kind of like buzzing in that. Because, you know, there's the UFC thing, you feel me? Okay. It's like a quote-unquote employees only. Like, nobody else was over there. Okay, so you Saturday like- for the people at, at home, UFC 300, I was, you know, my family is was gone. UFC 300 was absolutely amazing. Shout out to UFC 300. I'm not going to go into a whole tangent. That's a whole other video, big dog. For those of y'all who don't know, man, I love the sport of fighting, boxing, kickboxing, Krav Maga, Jiu-Jitsu, uh, bare knuckle fighting. I got a bare knuckle fight coming up, by the way. Um, I love it. I love it. Combat jujitsu. Oh, man, I'm getting into that real heavy. I love the sport of fighting. One, two steps like Sierra. Whoop these overwires only in the ring where it's appropriate. Never on the streets. Only inappropriate when in the ring. In the streets, we walk away from all situations. Um, UFC 300 was amazing. I could go into like a whole dissertation about that, but then you guys would be super upset because I didn't really get off topic. You thought I had ADD before? Boy, let me get to talk about fighting and some good combat sports. Psh. They're in Japan. Never finished this video. So I'm thinking. We had never finished talking about how Adam 22 is treating less like a 304 on the streets. Who needs to go outside and make his money because that was his best cash cow. And after you broke in the BITCH, you still got to let know that the hoe is yours and don't go. So come on. Let me get back in your mind. There's some space in there. I need to rent for free. Let me go ahead and get you. It's crazy. I don't want to order this fucking fight and sit on the couch by myself. We should get it at the office and at least have however many homies want to come through. So there was like, you know, 10, 15 people that came through to watch the fight and everything. And I invited Lush. And Sharp was also there. Was that was there any weirdness there? Because no, there he's was. seeing you and realizing like, oh, he's here and this is kind of like employees only. So that means I, I can't tell you from his perspective, but I know this that like so Sharp and I were mad cool. Uh-huh. Like and like we used to talk all the time. Okay. When I was over at No Jumper. If you notice, go back to the Lush One No Jumper Killer diss track, like the the first time I hopped in the booth over here. Mm-hmm. He's the only person I don't diss. Mm. You feel okay. me? Like, like I didn't really get at phone or Blasi, but they but they had just dipped. You feel me? Like, there's like I didn't really get at Flacco, but I got I I said Sharp the only one that tried to help me grow. Mm. The way Sus treated me was uglier than Kelpie's hoes. You feel me? Like, and um no, I shouts to Kelpie though. I fucks with Kelpie. That's but that's just what the bar was. You feel that me? That was funny. And um, so he's a. Uh, I, I know that he was particularly hurt by what happened and you know as a lot of people did directed 100 percent of the animosity towards me mm-hmm. and you know i don't think i don't for whatever reason you know what i mean and like he, he uh the first time i even started really trying to stream or do my own shit one of the first streams i ever did like was me responding to you 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 and him sitting down for the initial conversation and when, okay. when you kind of like we bike, you feel me? Like, like <laughs> I say that? No, we, we put, we still hear motherfuckers, you feel me? Don't think that this is going to be the end. And you and Sharp, you're, and Sharp's like, I don't know, church. She like, like, Lush was just too big of a fan. And he was like saying what he said about me. Mm. So I responded to that. Okay. And then, like, he wanted, he's like, he was trying to sex play me to. So we had like a, a conversation after that, which ended amicably uh-huh. and it was love. You know what I mean? But that's the last time we spoke. Okay. And then and, you see him Saturday. And then I see him Saturday. Okay. On my end, I'm not, you feel me? I'm harboring no type of feelings about anybody. Like, I'm, uh-huh. I'm really like trying to fucking be an adult just in life and not let things that are inconsequential. So we understand that Lush is back to being a no jumper employee. Okay, got it. Just making sure. Well, to my, you know, family or my, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to be mature is hard because I'm fucking, you, you're saying maturity is hard. Don't worry about it. Lush, you respect it. I like whatever you might currently be getting from your family or slash like your, your, your girl situation that at that time you might've been like manifesting that shit through chatting with Sadie Perry in, in uh, the Discord no, chat. A, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Like, okay. I was at a fucked up place at that time. You know what I mean? Manifesting like, itself in strange ways. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's literally, like, this was a whole different chapter in my life so i'm not really like as much as i I always love no jumper you know from a fan perspective even like when we wasn't getting along i'm still slick watching the the content because i love this shit you Mm. feel me like um sharp 
that was our last interaction. He, he winds up coming in. It's love. Like, he's being cool. We're all enjoying the fight. We're interacting towards the end of the night. Like, I think you were, like, dipping, Josh dipping or whatever. But, like, Icon's still here. Um... Comparator, you feel me? Mm. My my bender, bro. Newly the, sober comparator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a on that last. I want to. Not, not trying to salt salt it at all. Look, I hope it lasts he, He's dedicated. So okay. him and I have our own podcast for launching. You feel me? Hopefully, we could do some shit over here, uh-huh. get it popping, and like with the Mad D brother Sue. But we got some shit called the worst podcast ever. Really? And we just dropped an episode yesterday. I um, saw a clip of it, and it definitely had the worst audio <laughs> ever. Because <laughs> we're. At his spot, then you were sushi. I, I'm so, literally, bro. When I'm driving home, and this isn't something I'm proud of, but the the motherfucking lines on the freeway were tap dancing, fool. They like literally looked like they, they were doing the Dougie. I was just like, because so, you were so fucked up. I was so fucking lorded. You're talking about get, driving drunk like the other day, like yeah, last night. <laughs> I don't know if there's a statue of limitation. <laughs> yeah, it's one it. day. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, dude, this fool, because he wasn't getting faded, but he's, like, feeding me, like, all these, like... Okay. He has, like, this fucking drink in a glass of dick and all this crazy oh, shit. Oh, so like, that's yeah. the part that somebody sent me. It was like, look at Lush taking a huge sip of this dick Well, well that's shot. I thought that was my Illuminati shaming ritual to get welcome back to No Jumper. Mm. You feel I had to kiss the glass dick. You feel oh, me? Like, okay. but... Well, there's no, a, remember that... Super pause, super no rat run honey, drinking the hot dog water, three finger white. That was wild. Photo of house phone? I do not. And it was like him with like a salt shaker that was shaped like a dick. <laughs> and there was like a huge campaign to use that against him. Is this break? There he is. Look at him. Break. What the Come fuck? On, you got a man. plate of bread? Our first meal all fucking Ooh. weekend. My boy brought the crab what service the hell with is him. This? <laughs> you guys, I really want to know. Y'all get so mad at me for eating on camera and eating in the phone and all that kind of stuff. How come Brick Baby gets to walk in with a full plate? Y'all get so mad at me. I ain't even allowed to eat on camera no more because management going trip, bro. I'm over here starving. I ain't ate nothing but a taco and a quesadilla today. And I had two protein shakes. Brick Baby come in with a full plate. But if I start eating, God forbid, because I give y'all eight to ten videos a day starting off at five o'clock in the morning. But I eat, it's a problem. This ninja come in with a whole plate. Today's day 31. Fuck management. Management. It is now. You got like... Shrimp and grits. So, you know, I got seven girlfriends right now inside the house. So, I, 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 they had to make my breakfast for me. And I love how you come in with like a, an appetizer. I'm like... Holy shit. You put this up for me, bro. <laughs> oh, man. I got, nah. I got a skull emoji from Sadie Perry right away. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Wait, you it. got skull from Sadie Perry? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm about to meet her for the first time in New York. She, she's she's a nice girl, bro. Wait, you brought that in, you took one bite of it, and then you handed it to Mikey? Girl, I'm not about to do you like that. I ain't gonna act too ghetto. Oh, you ain't oh even, you, you feel me? Like, you- okay, so I guess it's acting ghetto. Manager's like, see, even Break Baby knows not to act ghetto. Okay, my bad, man. I ain't gonna act too ghetto. My fault. My fault. But I'm from the hood, though. Like the hood, though. Like really, really, really from the hood, though. Where they kick those, where they sell dro. Where the game bangers carry in the faux fo No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm not from anybody's hood. I'm not. That could be misinterpreted. It's like a gang reference. Not that. See, I told you he was. No, I'm not. Square. Bow. Box of Apple Jacks. As a matter of fact, I'm as square and I'm as green as the Lime Cello Tasty Live Resins. Full gram for each one, man. Cannabis derived terpenes, premium category five, excuse me, premium category three, distillate, no pesticides or heavy metals. I am as green as Tasty Lime Cellos. Make sure you go get you some out of your local dispensary. Tasty Lime Cellos, man. If you don't like distillates, you don't like uh, pins and cartridges, you might like to get some good roll upables. And if you wanted some roll upables, here is something that you can put in your roll up. You can use, t- here's something you can roll up with your roll upables. That's what I'm trying to say. Loose leaves. Honey bourbon loose leaves. Shout out to Death So Dev. Awful lot of loose leaves. Awful lot of honey bourbons. Loose leaves. Perfectly cut leaves for a perfect roll every single time. And I want y'all to know that I am green. Like tasty. Lime cellos. Square and green. That's your boy. Let's keep going. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm elevating. With you look good. Why do you look good right now? It's because you got the hair done. It's the glow. What, it you might got, be the hair. You got, you got like... Wait, from having seven girlfriends? Yeah, it's kind of cracking over there right now, Adam. I'm in war. I think I'm about to be divorced in a second. Wait, it's that's really what's going on? You're like actually at war it's with your girl me. over what you're filming right now? Bro, yeah. So the reality show is Yeah, like, what's the theme of this? So it's the influence of L.A., but I don't know why they pick one gay guy 
No disrespect to the gay. It's one gay guy, uh -huh. eight girls, and Brick. And then Zoe Osama comes. He, came, he just came back. So it's me and Zoe, one gay guy, and eight girls. But they left me at the house with all the girls. And wait, they're, they're trying to like get like a love affair going here? Why is there a is gay guy? Flavor of love? Crazy. Brick? It seems like know, the gay guy know. would not want to be involved. No, the gay guy, that's my boy, uh, uh, Scooter. That's like my sister's best friend. Like Outside of that, he used to style for like okay, so uh, basketball. That we were talking about <coughs> Lush being back on No Jumper. Now we're talking about Break Baby and his show that he got coming up. So I guess Lush, you're no longer important. Break Baby show is more important. That be, that be, that being said, man, we finna get a bite to the next one, man. Rich Trapper signing out. TNA Trap News Network. News you use from now. You can't get a college big dog. We a bite to the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we have going on here at TNA Trap News Network. News you use. Now that you can't get a college big dog, find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper Game Six. Rich Trapper worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. Start from scratch. The Nightmare Before Christmas. They both out now as well as my newest single, Something to Own, is out now too. So make sure you get into that, man. I ain't trying to fall in love. I just need me something. To Swear to God. Um, tasty. Tasty for all of those for those of us who are green and square. Tasty. Lime cellos, live resins are available now at a dispensary near you, at a THC legal THC dispensary near you. Cannabis derived terpenes, category three distillate, no pesticides or heavy metals. Make sure y'all get into these, man. I told you about the dust of doves. Don't worry about those, man. Get into those before we get up out of here. If you're trying to figure out how to get some of this good advertisement, marketing, and promotion that we're giving away here at TNN Trap News Network, find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News Network. Hit that red dot, slide it to the left. Figure out how to get some of this free money we're giving away because we're giving away $200. You want to get $200? Don't worry about it. Hit that red dot, slide it to the left. Figure out how to get some of this good chili we're giving away. And uh, we out of here to the next one. It's Free Avenue Angel until he's free. We go.